power to your car or truck is every gearhead's dream. For some strange reason, we just feel the need we have to go faster. But when it comes to adding power to your engine, how do you know where to start? Because let's face it, there are a lot of different choices out there. So today I'm going to go over some of the parts you can get from Edelbrock, how they help improve power and what they do. And they all have one thing in common, and that's moving air. The first place that air travels after it passes through the carburetor or throttle body is the intake manifold. And there are two basic parts, the plenum, which is just a common chamber, and the runner, which is the pathway the air takes to get to the individual ports on the cylinder head. This is an RPM air gap intake, and the runners have a larger cross-sectional area than a stock manifold, so it can move more air, and therefore it'll make more horsepower. But just as important as the cross-sectional size of the runner is the length, because that determines the RPM range that the engine will best operate at. The runners on the air gap are slightly longer, and that means it'll favor low to mid RPM torque. So this manifold's operating range is between 1500 and 6500 RPM, which means it'll be best suited on a street engine. The Super Victor, on the other hand, well, this has a massive plenum volume and a very short runner. It's designed to be on a large cubic inch engine that spends all of its time at high RPM. In fact, its operating range is between 3500 and 8500 RPM, so you definitely find this one under the hood of a dedicated race car. The next stop that air makes on its way through your engine is the cylinder head, which is often the most restrictive part of the induction setup on a factory engine. So by swapping to a better set like these Performer RPMs will lead to massive increases in power, sometimes an additional 100 horsepower or even more. Now, just like on an intake manifold, the size of the runner has been increased, which will fit more air through it, but also the transition that it makes as it bends air around the valve has been improved. Speaking of valves, they're usually larger as well, and the size of the combustion chamber has been made smaller, which will increase compression ratio and horsepower. And on top of that, these are made from aluminum rather than iron, which will dissipate heat better and lead to a cooler running engine. The next option is to simply force more air into the engine. This is an E4 supercharger. It bolts onto the cylinder head and a belt from the crankshaft turns it. It'll suck in air from the atmosphere and force it into the engine, filling each cylinder with more air and fuel than it would be able to draw in by itself, giving you massive gains in power and torque. Now we're really just scratching the surface here and you can even combine upgrades for even bigger power gains. So to get your car or truck in the fast lane, check out edelbrock.com.